welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The city of Moreno Valley has a sister city in Mexico. And with us now to tell us all about it is the mayor of Moreno Valley, Extian Gutierrez. Thank you so much, uh, Leslie, for the opportunity to be here. It really gives me the um, uh, platform to really inform uh, the residents of what we're doing in Marina Valley and the latest happenings and we do have a sister city. Why it's, have a sister city? Well actually there's many benefits uh, to having a sister city um, so it's a great question that you asked. Um, one of the things that we can get is uh, economic exchange of ideas. We can learn from others. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we can also uh, do student exchanges as well for our students and cultural exchanges and learn from what other cities are doing in, in, in the world. Well, tell us about the city and why it's related to you now mm -hmm. as a sister city. So the city is called San Juan de los Lagos, which is located in Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco is a state. Mm -hmm. And um, we started this back in 1993. Uh, there was a group uh, of uh, residents from the city of Marina Valley from San Juan de los Lagos that worked with the city and established a committee. And so we continued that and then we signed a sister city agreement, but due to the recession, unfortunately, uh, there was a hiatus uh, with that uh, sister city, and now we are uh, restarting uh, the agreement, and actually San Juan de los Lagos is coming to the city of Marina Valley this fall. And uh, what kinds of things are you going to be doing in this uh, sister relationship? Well, you know, I believe with good leadership, you know, comes observation and uh, listening, so I think that with a sister city, we can learn from them and uh, uh, hopefully learn, you know, what is it that they're doing to make their su successful, and then they can learn from our city as well, and then we can spark an interest uh, in our students um, in learning about the culture, the language, all yeah, of that. How do you go about doing that? You know, mm -hmm. with the, you do the student exchange. Uh, are there other efforts in the city where people um, understand more about each other's cultures? Yes, well, one of the ways that we can do that, we can partner with our school districts. And so in the past, in the 90s, we partnered with Marina Valley Unified School District. And we're looking forward to partnering with Marina Valley Unified School District and also Valverde uh, Unified School District as well. What do you think some of the benefits uh, San Juan de los Logos, uh, Lagos mm -hmm. uh, has gained from the relationship? And what does Marina Valley gain from it? Well, actually, they gained um, a, a few items, uh, an RTA bus. Mm -hmm. also a fire truck, mm -hmm. also police training, and um, Marina Valley has gained um, uh, learning from, us, from them as far as, you know, tourism, branding, and those kinds of things, and we want to continue to do that. Well, like proud parents, if one sister is good, uh, maybe another sister would be uh, additionally great for the city? You're thinking about adding another sister city. Yes, yes. Actually, the city council is really interested in another city called Zacapu, um, in um, Michoacan, Mexico, and we can also learn from them as well, and they can learn from us, and they actually had the opportunity to come to the city of Marina Valley, and they learned about our Hire Moval program and how we're hiring Marina Valley residents, so they took that back to the community. Of all the cities in all the land, why this city? Well, those two cities in particular were um, started because of the community that we have in the city of Marina Valley. We're about 60% Latino, mm -hmm. and we actually have uh, groups, pockets, in the city of Marina Valley from Sacapu and from San Juan de los Lagos. Uh -huh. And uh, you appreciate this. You were involved in student exchanges when uh, you were younger, and so you have personal identification with this. Yes, and actually I was able to go to uh, Caracas, Venezuela when I was 16 years old, and I was able to learn more about the language, the culture, and uh, what's happening there in, in their community, and it really got me more to be more involved in local government. So I want to do that for our kids, our future leaders. And creating connections yes. around the world, at least in Mexico. Yes. Thank you very much for being here, Extian Gutierrez. Thank you so much, Appreciate Leslie, it. for the opportunity. And glad you could be here, too. I'm Leslie Layton.